What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Eric. Welcome to House of Eric. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Eric. I'm a hair and makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. My OG subscribers, I'm back. I'm so sorry. I took a little hiatus. I had to get things together, if you will, but I have some exciting news coming for you guys in the future. Anyways, I'm back, and this is the Drugstore Makeup Edition Hair and Makeup Drugstore Empties video and i can't wait to show you guys these are products that i've actually used up all the way i can actually give you my full rundown my thoughts my likes my dislikes is it worth your penny is it not if you like this type of video make sure and give it a thumbs up this is my first time filming this type of video on my channel if you're new here hit that subscribe button join the familia i would love to have you guys and without further ado let's get started so this is in no specific order. This is hair and makeup and basically anything beauty. So since I'm wearing it right now, let's start with my empty, my tried and true. Now, technically, this is not a professional hair product in terms of like a licensed cosmetologist, but everyone in their mother uses this. And I recommend you do too. This is the got to be glue. Freeze that hair into place she's not going nowhere you could be in florida having a hurricane and rest assured your hair is going to stay in place this is great i love this for my hair um not only for the volume that it gives me but i love it just to um actually maintain my natural curl it's really great for that this is great for updos i've used it to upstyle hair weddings quinceanera you name it this is a great product um, a little goes a long way, and this is like, I can't even count how many bottles of this I've used. 10 out of 10, got to be glued. It's by the brand Schwarzkopf, definitely worth it. Since we're on that playing field of the got to be glued family, I tried this for the first time, and I was not, not impressed. I absolutely loved it. This is the got to be glued uh, dual action spray. It has two ways to twist it you can twist this way if you want just minimal spraying or if you want a lot of product you can uh twist it the opposite way this is the got to be glued glued spray wax this is going to be great for a sleek bun if you're a female or a guy sleek bun you want to spray it you want to spray some flyaways in there sleek it up with a brush with your hand great for that it's also great for a grunge look like i have myself just kind of spraying it everywhere and just kind of going with the flow, letting your hair do its own natural thing. Absolutely love it. This can be used in a variety of different ways. Say you're doing an up style and you want kind of intricate uh, detail in like a strand of hair. You can spray that hair with wax. You can curl it or you can straighten it and it's going to maintain and kind of give you this like sculpted nice look. Eight out of ten. Definitely super good okay now since we're on it and we're on the topic of hair and this is my alma mater shout out to paul mitchell the school of phoenix love you guys miss you guys great school great products and of course i was not surprised to see that this worked amazing this is the paul mitchell invisible wear volume whip humidity resistance what i love about this mousse is I love using a diffuser and putting mousse in my hair, right? But a lot of the mousses that I've tried leave it crunchy, leave it gross, kind of leave it looking sticky looking. This, I don't know what magic this has or what like brujeria, witchcraft this was made out of, but Paul Mitchell Pro Systems absolutely did that. This is the whip, uh, whip, it has a whippy like airy volume. You can't even feel it, but your hair is still in place. I don't know. Ask John Paul DeJoria. It's magical. 10 out of 10. Moving on to a little bit of makeup. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Now, this is not a new product, but it is a new product to me. And I was in the shade Fair 25W. I love this foundation. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hyaluronic acid is the key term and the key ingredient because it leaves kind of a nice satin effect. I don't want to say dewy because it's not dewy, but it's definitely not matte. It's kind of like a natural satin kind of sun-kissed look. Absolutely love it. It's medium coverage. Um, it's great for everyday wear. Or you can even, um, you can pump it up. You can't build it to full, but it, wear it as you, as you please. It's absolutely amazing. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. ColourPop is a brand that I am barely like 
kind of sticking my toes in, if you will, in the water. And I'm like kind of obsessed. I'm definitely going to be ordering more stuff for them. Maybe I'll do a one brand tutorial just on ColourPop makeup. Next is the Wet n Wild. This is the translucent photo focus powder. If you see my Wet n Wild video, if not, I'll link it right here. Go check it out. It's a really good, good video. Great products. This is the Wet n Wild Translucent Photo Focus Powder. If you are on a budget, this is good. Even if you're not on a budget, this is good. 10 out of 10. Smooths the under eyes. Cuts your contour. Gives you kind of a soft focus look. It's absolutely stunning. Wet n Wild, I don't know what they are doing. They're absolutely wet. They're absolutely wild because this is amazing. 10 out of 10. Let's go to Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. This was sheer fair. I actually got this on sale at Ulta. And, you know, I even took notes about it, but here's the silence. Like, what is it? What does it do? Why was it invented? It, like, all of the above. I don't even know, honestly. I'll give it, like, a 4 out of 10. That's just being nice. We don't even need to talk about it much. Yes, I understand. It's a mineral veil. And it's sheer. Um, but it almost like did nothing. It didn't even set my makeup in place. I felt like, I don't know. Sue me. Next is the Flower Light Illusion Powder. This is by Flower Beauty by Drew Barrymore. I love a lot of her products. This is, um, it's supposed to be like a light illusion perfecting powder with a soft focus blurring. Um, I can say that it is soft focus. Blurring, not so much. It's a good powder. I mean, it's not the best that I've used. I won't be... Out of all the products I've mentioned so far, these two I probably won't be repurchasing. That's the Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil and the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. It's the... This one's way worse, trust me. But the Flower Beauty, it just didn't do it for me. Um, Yeah. Next is going to be... The NYX Professional Makeup Plump Right Back Primer. This is so bomb. It is so good. And it's kind of reminiscent. Let me see if there's any left. Oh shit, there's still some left. Oh my God, I just wasted it. So it's still some left, but let me show you the consistency. It's kind of like a gooey type of tacky, um, a little bit of a scent, kind of aloe vera, aloe vera feel. And Let's just put some right here for fun. Anyways, it's a tacky base. It's really good. It really does plump up the skin. But my problem with it is the price point. It's around $18. And NYX is supposed to be a drugstore brand. Now, don't get me wrong. NYX is iconic. I love the brand. I love the majority of their products. But to me, it just doesn't justify the price considering there's so much more primers out there that can do the same thing. Such as the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Not even done using it, but 10 out of 10 for that one. This I'll give an 8 out of 10, but I won't be repurchasing it just due to the fact that I do have other dupes that do the same thing. Next, let's go to... um, Let's talk about a... Ooh, this one. This one's super good. Joa Crystal Glow Refreshing Luminizer Skin Mist with Crystallide, which is a trademarked um, ingredient that they have... Um, come up with and hyaluronic acid you guys not only is the pump pumping not only is the hyaluronic acid hyaluronic aciding but it is beautiful I put this on and I feel like I'm in a fucking Greek spa if there's such thing I feel like I'm a goddess I feel like I'm glowing from within I use it before my makeup after my makeup for fun I spray it everywhere I spray it in the air you get it right it's that amazing and it leaves your skin feeling so Good. Like, Joa, 10 out of 10. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Love it. Moving on. All right, guys. So, this is me from the future. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of the family. I am now back. I'm doing uh, one video once a week. Thank you so much for being a part of the family. Hit that like button. And if there's anything you guys want to see at all, any products, any recommendations on something I should do, comment down below. Really helps the channel. Te quiero mucho. And have a great motherfucking day. Remember, you are a bad bitch.
stay true, be yourself, and let the haters hate.